adding listing and information to your project is done pretty simply. Let's come up to the effects library and click on search and type in real to get the real estate pack. And you'll see that a couple of them have logo written at the end of them. That simply just means that you can insert a logo if you have one available. If you don't, the secondary one you can pick up and that just has plain text. So let's add in the first one with a logo. And I'll just come into the middle so I can see all of the elements. Clicking on it, coming up to the inspector. Let's go under agent info. You'll see here we have the ability for a file. So let's click on browse. We can navigate to where we have our logo. Click open and our logo will now come in. We have the ability to change its position if we need to. We also have the ability to change the size uh, so it fits our project depending on the size of your logo. Here we have the phone number. You don't have to have a phone number there. You could have an email address if that's something that uh, would work out a little bit better for you. Let's open this up a bit. Next we have all of the property info, the address, the description of the property, short description, as well as the price. Uh, if you want to change the size of the price box, you have the ability to do that as well. Let's come down to colors. We have the background color for the main element, and then we also have this accent color. Let's change the accent color up a little bit. All of the different accents throughout this, all of our icons also were adjusted in there. Uh, one thing at the bottom here, you have the ability to turn off these bars if you don't like the look. Coming down a little bit further, now we get into this little list right here. Each one of these elements you can turn off if you don't like. I'll keep this one on. The top one, the bedroom, because it starts the list, uh, it has a couple of extra settings. We have icon spacing. This is going to be the spacing between the icon and the text for that icon. We can change the spacing there. So if we wanted to, we can make this a little bit smaller and now they're a bit closer. We also have the position for all of the elements. If we felt that it was too heavy on the left or too heavy on the right, we can change around the position of all of the elements. The other ones have a couple of different settings. So all of these have these two settings here, the ability to enable and then also the spacing. The spacing is in reference to one above. What I mean by that is the spacing between this one and this one. So let's say we didn't want bathroom. We could turn bathroom off. And then we will come down here to house size. Because now there's a gap there, we can turn, we can move this up and move the rest of the list up a bit to fit there. So there we go. Now we have everything fitting perfect and we don't have the bathroom there anymore. And you can do that for all of the others as well. So let's say we don't wanna show how many parking spaces the property has, turn that off, turn the spacing to zero, and it'll bring this up right away. So that's how that one works. And then with all of the elements in this pack, you have the ability to, let's say you need it longer than its default of five seconds, you can just drag this out and it will extend the animations and everything to fit that new length. And then let's come down to the number two. Like I said, this is going to be the same, but the only thing here is instead of having the ability to bring in a logo, now under agent info, we have the ability to type in a name if we don't have access to, let's say, a logo. So we can type in the name, change the size of it, change the position of it, color, font, so on. Everything else in this one is pretty much the same. And let's say you have an, a shot that needs to be um, a bit heavier on the opposite side. And what I mean by that is for this one, we have all of the info on the left side. Maybe we need it on the right side. So the next two are going to be um, switching it up a bit and flipping everything on the other side, as well as all of the animations are going to be positioned accordingly. So let's come down to five. Five is a little bit different. This is another one that has logo. So if we click on it, we have the ability to bring in that logo. So we'll bring that logo in and this has a box here. So let's bring this in so it fits our box. So let's bring the width in a little bit. And now this obviously has animations. Everything will uh, be animated depending on whatever we set here and accordingly. So this is kind of like a splash screen, something that you would have at the beginning of the video, you know, saying this company currently is uh, working with this property. The next one is kind of like an end screen. 
just giving a little bit more information on how to contact you. We can also put a logo in on this one. So there's my logo. Change the background color if you want. We have a left and a right. They don't have to be phone number, email address. It could be name, phone number, or name, email address, whatever you want it to be. The next one that we have here, it's kind of set up for just a phone number, but we can put anything in here. Uh, if we wanted to, we could make this a lot longer too, and then extend the width of it so it fills up everything. And because it's cut off, we can also bring it in a bit. And what this is actually doing is it's going to change the animation because now it has to animate in further. So if I come from the beginning, it's still going to animate all the way in. I could also have this animate to the other side if I want it to. It's going to come in uh, once it caches and animate to the other side. Uh, if you don't want it at the bottom and maybe you want it at the top, we could just come over into video and then just move this up so that it's at the top like that. And if you want to, you can make you could extend this and make it longer to display longer on screen. The next one we have is kind of set up for uh, showing the different rooms, if you will, maybe bedroom one, master bedroom, bathroom, whatever you want it to say, you can have it say it here. And for this also the same thing left, right. And this one it will be animated from the top when it comes down um, here. If you don't want it to have the little gap, you could simply just come into here and remove that little gap just so it stays at the top of the screen like that. You have the ability to do that if you like. Um, same thing with that. If you don't want it to come from the top and maybe you want it to come from the side, we have the side as well. And with this, you can have it you know, come from the top up here or have it come from the bottom. Same sort of thing. If you don't want it to animate in so far, let's come over here, bring this back just ever so slightly like that and then there you go now you have it animated in from the side stating that you know what this room currently is and then we have the box size if you have like a longer word you do have the ability to do that as well so that's the real estate pack if you have any questions about the pack you can go to the contact page on the website ask your questions there and i'll be more than happy to help you